Hey y'all, we got some fangs in your face, feeding some of Africa's deadliest, some crazy bothrops, and a live feeding coming up with a Zavcon with little Evelyn with one of the little destroyers. So hang in there guys, this is gonna be a fun one. Subscribe now. Fangs in your face. What's up, Venom Squad? Hey, before we get started, hey, one of the OGs from our channel, I mean, he's been with us from the beginning, Dan McCarty. Hey, he just lost his dad last week, and let's show Dan some love. Let's give him some Venom Squad love. Hey, guys, uh, Dan's father passed away, and his name was Big Dan, and Big Dan was a snake lover also. So, let's hit it up, guys. Let's show Dan McCarty some love. Hashtag RIP Big Dan, and hey, this video is dedicated to Big Dan McCarty tonight. Hey, a big Venom Central thank you to Steven Stewart, Sean Black, Andrew Vislowski. Thank you, Andrew. Hey, Peter Carmici, Len Brewer. Len, we love you, brother. Um, hey, and Jason Rohrbach from Aliens and Apes. Jason, thank you for all the goodies, brother. That stuff always comes in handy around here. And hey, Dan McCarty, thank you, bro fangs in your face, some of Africa's deadliest, some crazy Bothrop strikes. I mean some crazy Bothrop strikes. This is a good one. And a live feeding with a, a Prolozopcon. Hey you guys, first on deck today is going to be little Evelyn. It's, a, it's, it's Dan McCarty's ward. Dan sponsors her care. He actually pays to feed her and everything. And thank you Dan. Little Evelyn is doing great. But she likes live. She won't eat frozen dog. She's a stubborn little bitch. But anyways, we're going to pop a live mouse in with her. And let this party begin y'all. Yo, Dan McCarty. Hey, brother. This feeding's dedicated to your dad, Big Dan. But anyways, this is Evelyn. This is Dan McCarty's little ward. Dan actually pays for her care and her food. Oh, 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 that was a hot bite. Wow. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, Dan, we're trying to cheer you up, brother. I know it's like losing a parent, bro. It's it's just, it's brutal. But thought we'd give you a look at Evelyn. And she's still a stubborn little witch. She will not eat a frozen thawed mouse to save her life. She wants them live. But her health is great. She is absolutely beautiful. She's probably one of the prettiest Zobcons I've ever produced. And we've produced a bunch of them. Um... And that's it, guys. That was, look at that. Wow, unbelievable. That's end game right there. Very fast. That is one hot little sum bitch right there. You can see fang placement was right there. Unbelievable. All of these neotropicals are just crazy venomous i'm not going to get in and start talking about venom guys i can i'll rattle on and you guys will just end up shutting down on me <laughs> but anyways all right guys we're gonna move on with this video y'all she's a vicious little stinker ain't she hey but um we'll see how fast it was that was that was quick um, I'll, Dean, you can put a timer on that, right? Absolutely. And, um, hey, let's get right with it, guys. We're going to keep rolling right on to the fangs in your face. Fangs in your face. Okay, Venom Squad, it's time to get this party started today. And we're going to feed all the bit of stuff today. I'm going to cue this big old puff at her up. That's the female. She's in her position. There she goes. We're gonna let her go ahead and blaze this one today. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there she goes. One snake that never misses. She needs to have them damn babies already. One thing about live bear guys, you you never know when it's gonna happen. She could eat today and pop them out tonight. All right, we're gonna move on, feed some more big stuff. Okay, let's see if this male's gonna eat. I got him to eat a rat last week. I had to separate him out, put him in a tub. He often refuses when he's in there with Big Mama. Oh, I think I bumped his tail. <laughs> he's coming in. He's showing signs. He just might pop it. <laughs> he's like, don't touch my tail. <laughs> There you go, buddy. That just might come out really nice. All right, big guy. He's one of them males when he gets in with a female, he decides not to eat because all he wants to do is breed. And his partner is already pretty damn gravid, so <laughs> he's a pretty boy though. Big old Bidisari tans. It's a Namibian puff adder. I think maybe he'll do a faint stretch. Nope. He'll do it when we ain't looking. Good. He's already sniffing it out. He's going to go ahead and eat. He needs to get back on feed steady. That a boy. He's going to take it down. I'm going to back out and let him eat. Okay, and you can see where this girl's at. She is ready to rumble. And she's got to work on scent this time. I can't cue her up. She's hanging off the damn edge there. See if we can get a sideways bang out of her. Oh, yes! spooked me a little bit I think I might have peed just a little bit right there <laughs> that's my girl and puff out of the like grease lightning all right girl you gotta lift up and get that thing back in there baby get it in there there you go <laughs> very nice Okay, and this, this male's tucked up in the hide, but we're going to go ahead and give him a little bit of vibration. He's already in feed mode. Yeah, he's already lining up the right direction there. Oh, yeah! Man, they're freaking just fast.
All right, buddy, you hit it. You got to back up now, Bubba. There you go. Look at that. There's the hole. One of the holes. There's the other hole. <laughs> Good job. That is the prettiest damn puff adder I've ever seen. And here's our other male. He's eating his rat like a good boy. Dude, sometimes you got to take a break from chasing the tail and eat something. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on and feed some kaboons, y'all. All right, we got the big male gaboon. He's right up on the glass here, so I got to reach in really carefully for this one. See if we can get him. Oh! <laughs> he didn't give me no warning on that one. He just blazed it. see the female way on the other side in the back of the cage there now we got to reach in and get her a rat he's biting that thing pretty hard he's got his eyes squinched up he's biting it so hard all right buddy let's relocate you all right guys let's try to get this big Big girl to come sideways. Oh man! Oh! One hell of a strike. I wish y'all could feel the force on the end of these tongs as she just banged that thing. That was incredible. They really are a powerful snake. I mean, with that short, heavy body, I mean, they're just one big, thick muscle. That was awesome. See, everybody's right up on the glass today. Well, that snake's already. Here comes the tongue. She's working that sense of smell. Let me get her to come high for that one. Oh, yeah! Hit that thing like a damn bullet. Is one beautiful gaboon. That gaboon there was born right here two years ago. That is just a two-year-old. Okay guys and you can see this snake is tucked there in the back in all this greenery. So we're gonna cue this guy up out here and get him ready for a bang because this is a mean damn gaboon right here this this male and he was born here two years ago also but he's just an ornery little cuss 
Oh, yes! Oh, man! He come a long way for that. And that's rare for a Gaboon to come that far out. <laughs> yeah, you go, dude. Man, he slid out of there like a damn black racer. That was awesome. And that goes to show you guys, you cannot predict what they're going to do. You just can't. You got to be on your guard 100% all the time. Especially feeding. Because a feeding bite would be the worst bite you could possibly suffer. Because you are getting envenomated during a feeding bite. So... This is where, you know, a little bit of knowledge comes into play. You don't take any freaking chances with a big gaboon. That was cool. We'll get a little footage of this. This guy swallowing his rat. Notice how he uses them big fangs to rake that thing in an inch at a time. Kind of cool how them gaboons swallow. They hold it up in the air and do that. <laughs> Man, he has got a set on him, don't he? I'll tell you, he come a long way for that rat. I mean, it's rare for a gaboon to stretch out that far. Usually they wait till the damn rat or the prey at them kisses them damn near on the nose. But he come a long way to grab that thing. That's why you can't underestimate him. You can never be too careful. And if you don't have any venom for him and you get bit, I mean, you're you're going to lose a limb, if not your life. I mean, we keep a pretty good stock of, of an African polyvalent here at Venom Central. He made short work of that one. <laughs> Bonus strike scene. Look at this, guys. This big female Bothrops, this big lay of chorus... I can barely get the door open and she's shooting out of here on me. I think she's going to pop a really crazy strike today. Let's see how she does. Oh, yeah! Fangs flying! <laughs> She's something else. That is one dangerous snake right there. All right, you back it up. She's smart. She'll only bite that thing one time and she'll wait for me to lay it down. Back it up, big mama. Because you're right, sweetie. That's six foot of death right there. <laughs> I open this glass and she comes shooting right out of there on me. I can barely get the damn rat in her face. She's going to go right in for it, watch. Definitely the most dangerous snakes to work with, bar none. All the Bothrop stuff. Stuff is just all red line. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And hey everybody, let's get behind our brother Dan McCarty. And hey, one more special shout out. This is to probably the youngest member of the Venom Squad. I love this little guy so much. His name's Pauly. And we're gonna pop a picture in there of Pauly with some of his Venom gear on. <laughs> but hey, little Pauly, Uncle Willie loves you, big guy. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo thing and subscribe now. And come on back and check us out at Venom Central. This is Willie, we're checking out. Later.